Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Well, we're diving into project M&M, our Mercury makeover. In the last episode, we actually took an evaluation of the car. It's time to dig into the meat and potatoes, man, the engine and the undercarriage, Tom. The cool thing is, though, I went ahead and scanned for those codes, and you're a lot more than parts. I got this scan tool there. Yeah, we have specialty tools that make jobs easier and, and more fun to take off pulleys, like you said, the scan tool. Yeah, and we'll use them throughout. You know what, when I scanned it, I ended up with a P300. That was a misfire. It's kind of indicative of how that engine was running. And I had a P0442. Remember you mentioned that gas cap? Very well could be. It's an emissions problem. We'll have to dive in that a little bit later as well. But where better to start than the engine and the diagnostics of the engine, fluid conditions. Right, yeah, you can tell a lot just from how the fluid looks and even how it smells. Like transmission fluid, yeah, it, it looks clear, normal doesn't smell burnt. The, uh, you tell a lot from the oil cap, is, is there any uh, white foamy stuff or uh, moisture that indicate the head gasket is le leaking? I don't see that. And the radiator um, condition of the, the coolant, it, it doesn't, I don't see any, uh, I don't smell any exhaust that might indicate the head gasket's leaking. I don't see any rust or, or uh, algae or anything growing. Yeah, that's a good indicator. I mean, these things are pretty bulletproof. I'm on my side. I got the oil dipstick down here. Always check the oil. Same thing. You want to smell it, make sure it's not burnt. You can look at it if it's all foamy and it looks like it's milk chocolate, maybe got some water in there. This one looks pretty good. Brakes, the same thing. Now, we'll address them. It's, it's a cheap fix. I mean, we got some brake fluid. We'll address it all. But right now, it's full, so you can tell we don't have any leaks in there or anything like that. And then I got the power steering right here. So if I pull the power steering fluid off, it's filled up. It looks pretty good. Doesn't mean somebody didn't top it off. At least we're checking the conditions of it. I mean, belt as well. Right, yeah, belt something with this many uh, 10 years and, and 50,000 miles. I, I wouldn't even spend much time inspecting it. It's so inexpensive. Just re replace it, replace the tensioners. You don't have to worry about it. Exactly. The tensioner, key word there, and the pulley. We'll probably knock it all out. We'll make sure that's catastrophic failure, man. We have problems if that breaks. Right. Then we went ahead and checked the hoses. Once again, just something with this many years. We're going to go ahead and replace them all, the upper and lower. We'll do that as well. But one thing we can do is we can do a mechanical check of the engine. That's pretty cool. And anybody can do this at home. It's really simple. It's called a compression test and I just went ahead and pulled the spark plug out you can see it right here it's in good condition but you know it's the old motorcraft spark plug from the get-go take a compression gauge screw it in there this is going to tell if that cylinder is building up compression and this is huge you can do this on any engine even a junkyard engine if you have a way to turn it over it tells you the mechanical integrity of the engine so I'm gonna plug this on Tom I'm gonna hand it to you and you can go ahead and hold that I'm gonna turn it over about four puffs and we'll see what kind of compression this thing's making What you got there? We got up to around 160. 160, now that's awesome. So yep. we got 160. Now we can check all the cylinders, you know, but it was running pretty good. We got a pretty good platform to start with, that's for sure. Yeah, I see a few cobwebs, but yeah, otherwise it looks good. Yeah, cobwebs and a couple of mud daubers, nothing we can't fix up. Plenty of parts, we can get them all at rockauto.com to do this. What we need to do is turn our attention down to actually the chassis and the undercarriage. Now we got Project m and up in the air. We got the wheels off and we're ready for an undercarriage inspection. Now, besides this thing being covered in spider webs from sitting so long, it looks pretty good. Here's a few things that you can check right at your house. Now I'm looking at the actual rotor assembly. I told you earlier it had a brake pulsation. This is pretty cool. If you look right here, it's actually got the factory clips on the rotor. That's the one that goes down the assembly line. They don't fall off as it tilts it to the right or left. So these never even been touched. We'll probably go ahead and replace these. There's rusty and we had a pedal pulsation. We'll check them in a later episode. Our pads are looking pretty good here. And then you want to look at the actual suspension components. I can come here to my actual tie rod end. I'm pulling up and down on it. Feels pretty good. The boot's not torn. It looks good. The bellow boot's in the racks all secure. We're in good shape there with the steering. I could look at my sway bar links right here. I can pull up and down them as well. I can see my lower radiator hose and the undercarriage has no major leaks or any problems, so we're in pretty good shape. Last but not least, I wanna check that strut and that strut mount up there. But remember, it was bouncing like a baby buggy on that test drive, so we'll go ahead and replace them as well. Now, Tom's in the back checking out his suspension system. Tom, watch out for the spider webs. How are we looking back there? There's some work to do here, but I don't see any terrible surprises. Like John found up front, that looks like the original brakes with a, a ridge of rust on the rotor and original pads, so th those need to be replaced to make the car stop well and prevent noise. These uh, boots on the shock absorbers tell me these are the original shocks after 50,000 miles and 10 years. Those need to go. It's rear wheel drive, so we got a rear differential. After so many years, it might be a good idea to change out that oil, put a new gasket on it. This car came from the factory with, with different options. 
and like it could have had air shocks. If it was a Crown Victoria, it, it might have heavy duty brakes if it was gonna be used for a police car. So what I see, it's, it's in pretty good shape. No, no big surprises, it's original equipment that needs to be changed out. So let's go to rockauto.com and, and pick our parts. Well, Tom, we had Project M&M, the Mercury makeover, up in the air, and we're walking around and we're inspecting some of the parts, but you know, that thing could have been a police package, taxis use it, there's several options that come with the car. Can you help me there? Yeah, to get an idea of what, what possibly might have come in the car from the factory, you can use the parts available at rockauto.com to find that out. So we'll go to the 2006 Mercury, we'll go to Grand Marquis, and we were curious about suspension, so we'll go down to suspension, and we'll see, okay, we got uh, air springs. So that's a big option that could have been on that car. It, it wasn't, but maybe we want air springs, we tow a trailer, or maybe we're concerned about the cost of air springs. Replacing those will add several hundred dollars to the cost. And, and if we were concerned about that, we could say, hey, maybe there's a kit available to, to replace the air springs with conventional shocks and springs. So. Now, especially on that make and model, a lot of people are doing that. And you get those air springs, they're so costly, we just convert it over to coil springs and have a whole kit. Yes, shock absorber conversion kit. There you go. So, yeah, it's available if you want to Perfect. replace those air springs. Yep, and still keep that rice ride and integrity of the car. Well, there's plenty more. Tech Garage, when we return, we'll go ahead and we'll shop some more. You guys come right back, right after this message.